Hi, I'm Brian Lange, and I'm here to talk to you about girl-boy relationships. If you are 12 years old to 18 years old, or even earlier, 10 to 18 years old, then I'm talking to you. Because it's very critical that you understand some general guidelines for girl-boy relationships. The danger of girl-boy relationships happen when girl-boy relationships become exclusive. And when they become exclusive, then within that exclusivity, there are all of the dangers of physical relation. And when physical relation happen, then you enter into the unsafe, dangerous zones of sexually transmitted diseases and also the possibility of, of pregnancy and an unwanted child and how horrible it is to even say those two words together, an unwanted child when children are so beautiful. And then also that the soul itself is destroyed and hurt by premarital sexual relationship. So here's my advice to you young people. When you are in a situation in school, you have peer friends. They are boys and girls. You don't, you're, it doesn't make any difference which gender they are. They are all your peers and they are your friends. It's when you begin to have a preferred relationship, especially with the opposite gender, then those preferred relationships can become these exclusive relationships. And I would say that you draw the line. You say, I have preferred relationships but I do not date because dating is exclusive it has a commitment and ultimately also includes some sort of physical holding hands hugging kissing petting and so on and so forth we don't need to go there so here's what I'm saying to you keep your relationships preferred and with a preferred relationship you can have all of the companionship that you want to have you can have all of the the deep friendship, even the commitment as friends or even, even brothers and sisters in Christ. But you do not have to have the ex exclusiveness that produces like a marriage relationship which shrinks your lives because everyone is excluded except this one person. She gets mad when you would talk to your, another girl or you get mad when she sees another guy. All of those types of dangers don't happen if it's just simply a preferred friendship and not I mean, exclusive dating. Do you see what I'm talking about? So God says in the Word, in the Bible, He says that, that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and your body does not belong to you, but actually you belong to the Lord. And number two, He says it's good that a man would not touch a woman. And it means that it's good that you would not have sensual and sexual type physical touching. So the, what's the conclusion? The conclusion is if you want safe, uh, relaxing and um, relationships that you can enjoy that do not destroy your soul, your body, or your social setting, then it's to ha keep the line drawn at preferred relationship. I prefer this person. They are special to me. There's nothing wrong with that. But you don't, if you, as soon as it becomes exclusive, then it messes things up socially. As soon as there is some sense of commitment, then there is a loss of freedom and a real constraint that causes stress and trouble in a social life. And then there also is the atmosphere. If we are really committed to each other, then we should have physical relationship, touching, hugging, petting, and then the swimming dangerously close to the sex line, which is really red light, mayday, get away from here, flee it because it's super dangerous. So I hope it's been helpful three things. Draw the line at preferred relationships and avoid three things. These three things. Ex exclusivity, avoid absolute commitment on a personal level, and avoid touching in a sensual way. And you will live to have many relationships. And when we're wedding day comes, you'll be blessed to be able to say, I am yours and, and I, you, can, you can have me and, and I am pure. Amen. In Jesus' name.